Hi everyone today we going to discuss about MS Ramayya Institute of Technology now popularly known as RIT or MS RIT it established in 1962 one of the oldest private colleges in Karnataka it located in MSR Nagara Mattikere Bangalore a well connected in city area it is affiliated with Vishweshwarya Technological University VTU Belgaum is gained the autonomous status in the 2007 means that they, they design their own curriculum conduct exam and assess student independently it is not a university the degree is awarded by vtu other institution with similar name don't confuse it with uh, ramaya university of affiliated science it is a separate university msrit is autonomous under vtu when it come to the accreditation and the ranking it is nac accredited with a plus grade when it come to the nba the most ug and pg programs are accredited by nba under the tier 1 scheme that is very very important thing that's why msrit stands top in the karnataka when it come to the nif ranking it gained the 78th rank in engineering category when it come to the course offered in the msrit it provides so many courses under the undergraduate computer science engineering information science and engineering electronics and communication engineering electrical and electronics engineering mechanical civil chemical biotechnology when it come to the new courses it having the ai ml means artificial intelligence and machine learning artificial intelligence and data science and cyber security a uh, meanwhile they having the medical electronics telecommunication aerospace and industrial engineering when it come to the post graduation they provide mtech in um, different multiple branches and meanwhile they have in the mba and mca courses they offer now we discuss about the admission process to eligibility to get the admission in the msrit the class 12 with the pcm minimum 45% if you are comes under the reserve category the percentage going to be 40% so you can get admission through the kcet if you are the from the karnataka student the kcet the conducted by the kcet board and then you will get the they will award the rank according to that through the online process you going to get the seat according to your ranking similarly you going to get the admission through the comet k for the non karnataka student it will be conducted by the comment k council and they will announce the ranking according to the online proceedings you will get the seat in the msrit when it come to the direct uh, management quota there will be direct admission based on your 12th marks and the uh, interview sometimes so it uh, depends on the courses the fees may vary when it come to the fee structure in the msrit the when it, you are entering the kcet the fee structure is fixed by the government of karnataka similarly you have to pay the fees to comet k if you are entering through the comet k comet k fees you have to pay when it come to the management quota especially the msrit having the i fee for the management quota when it come to the most demanding computer science or other branches it may they charge up to 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs per year according to the demand when it come to the karnataka cet the expected cut off in the 2025 it may be within uh, 5000 uh, there is a maximum ranking will be for the it branches so if it is come to the mechanical or uh, civil non it branches you may get uh, exception uh, maybe you will get the seat if you get 20 25000 in the ranking also so now we going to discuss about the placement the average package will be for cs isc branches 8 to 10 lakhs per annum and uh, meanwhile overall packages including considering the core branches other than it branches it to 5 to 6 lakh per annum when it come to the is package uh, they 50 lakhs per annum uh, when it come to the international uh, company one so they hired uh, for uh, 60 lakh per annum that is the is package in the msrit when it come to the top recruiter in the msrit microsoft google adobe amazon cisco so many companies are visiting frequently to the msrit the placement training include aptitude 
preparation, soft skill, mock interview, resume building, etc. They will provide the training during the academics. When it comes to the campus life and facilities in the MSRIT, it is the large green campus with the modern classrooms and the labs. Wi-Fi is enabled, central library with the digital access, hostel for the both boys and girls, gym and sports complex, innovation labs, active student clubs, annual flesh like Udbhava is the most famous in the MSRIT. So now we come to the very important segment why to join the MSRIT. So first thing you have to consider it is the one of the top five private colleges in Karnataka. Excellent in placement and the industry connection. Top quality faculty, strong alumni network, wide variety of branches including uh, trending one like AML, cyber security. So well known name across India, great brand value. So these are the factors you have to consider before joining the MSRIT or you have to consider this factor to join the MSRIT. Similarly, if you think, so next segment, uh, why not to join the MSRIT? So the major factors you have to eat highly competition to get the through the KCET or Kamente. If you don't have the very good marks or the good rank, you will not get the seat. So that's a major point you have to consider while selecting the MSRIT. So you will not get the seat means so this is the why you can't select the MSRIT. When it comes to the management court of fees, it's very expensive, 10 to 25 lakhs, depending on the branches. So it is more expensive compared to the other colleges. When it comes to the hostel life, it is okay but not luxurious. As compared to the brand of MSRIT, the hostels are not up to the mark. When it comes to the academic, it is very academic focused, may feel rigid for the student looking for flexibility in the learning. So these are the factors you need to think twice before not selecting the MSRIT. So finally we are going to conclude, if you are a student looking for a great placement, strong academics, modern tech programs, top level exposure with the Bangalore, a tech ecosystem, the MSRIT is the excellent choice. But if you are seeking a chill, flexible or design or creative oriented atmosphere, it might feel a bit of intense. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel and meanwhile comment your opinion here. Thanks for watching Innovative Future.